From the station with the most local news, Fox 17 Morning News at 6 starts right now. Well, good news. Coffee with your eggs at breakfast may now be a building block to a healthy diet. That's good news for me. The federal government updating their healthy eating guidelines. Overall, those rules emphasize the adoption of a healthy eating pattern that fits into a person's lifestyle. That makes a lot of sense. Rather than recommending specific amounts of different foods, such as vegetables or meats, one new point is recommending people limit added sugar to fewer than 10% of their daily calories. And another is now coffee in moderation can be considered part of a healthy diet. There are no longer limits on the amount of cholesterol you eat each day. That's surprising. <laughs> Though the guidelines state people should eat as little dietary cholesterol as possible. New recommendations also ask people to limit saturated fats to fewer than 10% of their daily calories and consume a bit less than one teaspoon of salt a day. Nancy Farrell is a, it, with the Academy of Nutrition and Diet. Di dietics. Jesus, oh man. She may not be setting limits. It gives people the ability to make healthier choices. I think what's important to note in terms of the dietary fats here is that the, the guidelines aren't really saying rid saturated fats, but maybe just to replace them. And really the intent is to, to ask consumers to recognize that it's the type and the quantity of dietary fat that they might be consuming that, that we should look into a little bit more. The federal dietary guidelines are updated every five years to reflect the latest on scientific advantages regarding our diets. Very interesting. Inter I didn't know that about cholesterol. I did not either. attention to my health news here. I can yeah. be eating whenever I want. You're going to be healthy in this new year. I, I'm certainly trying. Mm -hmm. Whether or not it's going well, that's a different <laughs> story.